Hey everybody, Royal Shorov again. This time I want to talk about slow builds and how to fix that problem. You see, slow builds, they say it happens to everyone and I too used to have slow builds. Um, but here's how I solved it. First, we have to understand that the slow build happens usually because we, we repeat the same actions over and over again and sometimes we add more actions on top the closest we come to a uh, deployment to production, for example. Um, for example, here, you'll see that we have a continuous, integra uh, continuous integration that runs, checks out, compiles, runs unit tests. But then if I want to deploy the test or staging and prod, what I used to do is that I would just repeat the same things and then also add deployment on top of it. And of course, that is a huge waste of time. And it also creates a problem because you see the code that you compile on the CI build is different than the code that you compile here and here. You could say, well, it's exactly the same, but you don't know that, and that's kind of the point. I, what I would like is that the code that got compiled here will be deployed here and here and here. That's not what's happening, and I get a big waste of time repeating myself in all these directions. Um, <clears throat> so what do we do? Well, one of the things that a lot of people don't realize is that um, Advanced continuous integration servers such as TeamCity also possess a feature called artifacts. And artifacts can help us make our builds much faster and also solve that problem where we actually have different versions of the files being compiled at each stage. And I call this pattern cumulative builds. The idea is that you create this piece of source and then you do all the actions on the existing piece of source that you already have and that's your artifact and you move an artifact between builds and you keep doing more and more things on it so here's an example of how we can use artifacts for example I should stop saying example um, a cumulative build in this case would be where the CI build after it compiles etc I can configure it to publish artifacts and those artifacts could be all the binary files that were compiled and were going and uh, and were being tested and then after I would publish these artifacts I would configure the deploy to test build to extract artifacts from the CI build and put it in the local directory before it runs and then all the things that I had to do before, like check out code and compile and all that stuff, I don't have to do anymore. All I have to do is just to take those artifacts and deploy them somewhere, which makes my build much faster. Then I also publish these artifacts so that other builds can consume them. So in this build, I will consume the artifacts from the deploy to test. And from here, I will consume the artifacts from deploy to staging. And this brings about a very nice phenomenon. First, yes, of course, things are fast. Second, I know that the things that were passing the tests here are the things that are being deployed here in production. And that's a very important thing. Only do everything just once. Don't repeat yourself. Applies to builds as well as to uh, code. So just how fast? Well, it, because we are doing just one thing here, check out, compile, unit test, and then here, none of all those other things uh, it only takes 34 seconds and then one minute one minute one minute that means that if I wanted to go through the whole thing it takes me four minutes um, just about shy of uh, four minutes to deploy my application after running everything and if I were to repeat myself that would be at least a minute and a half longer to do the same thing and I wouldn't be trusting the build to provide the same results because each environment compiles something maybe just a little bit differently we never know we never never know so i hope that this gave you a little bit of knowledge about how artifacts are useful unfortunately it's very it's almost impossible to configure artifacts with things like tfs etc so things like team cd jenkins are a bit more equipped for those kinds of things and they have been for a few good years now so I highly recommend that you look at the idea of artifacts before moving for forward with continuous integration. Cheers.